In this video, I will show you the not null constraint. We use it to avoid empty fields. We've seen that already. We can use that when we create a table specifying the not null condition directly, or like shown here on the right hand side, when we change a table, we change a column and we set it as a not null. We can do this as well. So then when we try to insert into our customer, a first name, last name, email, those values here, because we can explicitly specify a null for a certain column, we would get a clear error message that null for the last name of customer uh, violates and this and not a null a constraint. And we see also the row that we actually wanted to insert. Let's look at this directly in the database. Here we got the script not underscore null underscore constraint dot sql open and this one currently we have this data here in our customer table if we want to add a not null constraint here we have to have less names to start with so i just do a dummy update here so i update customer and set last name to something where the first name is something so i could also basically actually leave out and the condition if I want the same last name for all rows here. So let me execute this and confirm the result. So we now have a last name here for all rows in this customer table. So I can now go ahead and change this customer table by adding this not null constraint here. As you can see, alter table customer, alter column again for uh, changing the column specifically and then here set not null the contrary would be drop not null okay and then here uh, we can execute this and now if we insert a new customer for example this person here then and this is fine uh, what we could also do still but it's not really a best practice and not recommended we could obviously insert an empty string here and then have this one uh, still in the database because an empty string is not the same as null but if i do something like this this would not work and would not get inserted into our database but also for those cases here we maybe uh, define some other condition on our database so also here uh, like i've already mentioned and just for the sake of completeness here we have the alter table drop not a null statement although i won't execute that now Okay, and that's it on the not null statement, how to use that, be it in a creation of the table or when we change a table and then trying to insert values would give us a clear error message if we don't match the not null condition. If you have any questions, ask me in the Q&A. I will be happy to respond. See you in the next video.